Yo, what is up everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day. It's Ryan, we're back with a new video today. Another custom one to be exact. And the clone trooper that we're gonna be reviewing today is Clone Trooper Jesse from the Clone Wars, of course, in his phase two armor, most notably seen on Umbara, and then later seen at the Battle of Mandalore, donning his new Arc Trooper armor throughout season seven. So yeah. This was one of the customs that I made a very long time ago. This is part of the first five that I made of the named characters that I've done on my channel. And, you know, it has its flaws for sure, but in my opinion, it's still a pretty good figure. You know, it's accurate, except just for that Republic logo is the only thing I could never really do. And, you know, like I said, I made this a very, very long time ago. And if I had the resources and these figures again, I would love to redo them, but I just don't. So they hold a special place in my heart and that's what they are. That's their displayed in my collection. So yeah, guys, this is Clone Trooper Jesse. Just gonna get a quick little overview of what his paint apps are. You know, he's got the blue around his uh, legs with the black design that is on his knee plates. He's got a cool style comlink design where it goes on his forearm it's got a little bit of paint on his shoulder his elbow pads same on the other side as well nothing on his hands and then it goes all the way around to hit the back of his helmet and then yeah so then now we're on the, to the helmet you know it follows the fine line work right there but yeah getting back to that public logo it definitely looks pretty sloppy but is what it is you know doing something with the markers that i had at the time it was a little bit too thick it's the same oil-based paint markers i was using on these original figures that i made so it was pretty hard and quite honestly i don't know how they turned out this good with the marker because i mean i've tried to do things years later with those markers and i can never i can never redo them what i did i just find it easier to use it like paint with brushes now i think it does a lot more finer detail easier to do but those markers were cool they served their purpose of course it gave me all these customs that i've done uh from all these years ago but this is one of the ones where i clear glossed spray painted them so obviously it's super super sticky and you can probably see it has a lot of fuzz on it so you know it's a little bit of give and take here it's one of those things where i learned from those mistakes years later and just to apply it just strictly to the paint and get one that has no shine and then it just blends perfectly into the armor like i had for my wolf pack troopers you could probably barely even tell that i had clear gloss on them because i just used the paintbrush to apply it but these ones there's more air bubbles and it makes it stickier um, when you spray it on with the aerosol can but yeah it's what's kept them in this good condition for about eight years so i think believe it or not that's actually how long ago i made these ones now i'm thinking back to it it's definitely when the clone wars season four was out when that awesome umbara four episode arc came out it was such an awesome thing and such a huge shame that they just didn't make these characters because that's when the line was being canceled by disney was around that time frame and you know they still had the rest of season four and then season five so just all those characters that we never got we only got you know the the, the plain phase two clone trooper which is obviously a great figure and goes for quite a lot of money nowadays but having those named characters would have just been that much more cooler considering you know every phase one clone trooper just about i'd say besides maybe a select few have a figure it is a real shame that they haven't made stuff like this or you know made stuff a little bit more accurate so yeah now i'm going to do a side by side with all of the jesse armors because i also mentioned that in my last video so i wanted to showcase all of jesse's armors to you know, show how important he was in the Clone Wars, considering we've set, we've seen him go through three different changes. So here we go, guys. Here's all the Jesse armors that we hit, see in the Clone Wars. Obviously, on the left we have the, his Phase One armor that we first saw him in a Deserter episode in Season Two, and then we see him later on in Season Four, rocking his Phase Two, and then Season Seven we see him rocking the awesome Arc Trooper armor. So yeah, I mean, this is obviously one of those things where I was talking about with the quality. These, you know, the ARC Troopers are a really cool figure, but they had so many inaccuracies and you can probably tell that mine doesn't have the fin and the rangefinder because obviously that's how Hasbro produced them. They just used the same mold and didn't give Jesse his unique helmet, which I think is really ridiculous and just no reason for it. 
because considering how important of a character he was. So it's just one of those things where it's just a quality control issue that hasn't been fixed because I don't know if you guys have seen, but the latest buzz is the six inch Jesse that just got announced also has the fin and the rangefinder, which is just ridiculous and obviously has a lot of fans really upset though. I obviously just cut the rangefinder off. I'm still trying to find a blue paint that matches. It's kind of hard to find. So right now it's just standing in kind of flat. I just sanded it down so it doesn't have that hole in his helmet. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the video. These were my Jesse overview. So yeah, guys, that wraps it up. This marks my last original custom that I have made. It's been definitely an awesome journey making these cool videos for you guys. I really hope they brought you guys some enjoyment or maybe inspired in some of you to actually go out and do your own customs, you know, because at the end of the day, whatever you make, you know, that's something special to you. So don't worry about the quality of it. If you have a bunch of extra clones that you don't necessarily care about, just paint them up, see what comes out. And then once you get better at it, start making a figure. And, you know, I've, I've given a lot of tips with the stuff that I use, the materials that I've used, you know, protecting that paint afterwards so it can preserve the figure. All those things are super important that bring you guys some fun enjoyment. And, you know, when they're all on the shelf together, that's one of the coolest things that you could see. So, yeah, guys, I really appreciate it. Definitely leave a comment. Leave a like if you're new. Please subscribe. I'm definitely going to be making a bunch more videos. I have a lot more planned, but I, may, I wanted to make sure to finish off my customs that I have made. I still have a good number of customs that I haven't displayed yet, but those can be for future videos, but I'm definitely going to get into different kind of content for sure. But I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.